Hi, I'm Harib Doshi. Hi, thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. This is uh, Abhishek. Nice, nice to, to meet you, you. Abhishek. Okay. Congratulations on uh, winning the iZone Prototype of the Year award. Thank you very much. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're showcasing here today? It's a field sequential color uh, display. So it shows full color without any color filter. So how is that possible? I understand that all the liquid crystals today need to use a color filter on the top to produce color. Well, uh, we use uh, red, green and blue LED backlight to produce the color. And the trick is to have a very fast LCD mode. So we can uh, re uh, re repeat this RGB rapidly. So are you operating the, the display inherently at a much faster speed? Because we can see it video here, to, even though... Yes, it has to be a much higher frame rate. And the liquid crystal has to respond fast enough. And the uh, uh, FLC we're using is capable of less than 100 microseconds. So what is FLC? Can you tell a little for bit about FLC for people microphone. who may not know? Yeah, it's, uh, maybe Abasha can explain <laughs> FLC. Yeah. It's, it's a ferroelectric liquid crystal that has uh, the spontaneous polarization, and the spontaneous polarization follows the electric field. So if you apply the electric field, the polarization follows the electric field, and that's how the speed is very fast. I see, I see. So I had heard about this technology some time ago, and then nobody was working on it. Is this sort of a reincarnation of yes. that? And is this going to be what the future is? Because this, these demos, when you look at it, they look very bright and fast. Yeah, so we, we, we were working with the photo alignment, and we did a very interesting thing. We find a very good balances between the anchoring energy of the alignment layer and the elastic energy of the FLC material. And because of this balance, we were able to reduce the energy of the defects and that's how the quality improves a lot. I see. So what's the color gamut on this? It's around 105% of NTSC. And you're achieving 105% of NTSC yes. without using any quantum dots. Is there any quantum yes, dots? Yes, there's no used? quantum dot here. So there's no quantum dots used and you're still getting 100% right, NTSC. Right, right, right. So what's the, tell me about what's the next steps here? Because this demo, I'm sure you're getting a lot of feedback on it. Uh, and I know you, you're working with AUO on the backlink side. Is there a plan uh, to bring it out to the commercial yeah, the, world? The, the next step would be to find a commercial application for this technology. And uh, what do you think the application may be? Is it large size? Is it mobile applications? or? Uh, it saves uh, three times energy, so it's naturally good for uh, mobile application, wow. so cell phone. I know for my phone, one of the challenges is like every night, or not even before night, I sometimes have to recharge my phone. Can a technology like this help with that? This will save at least three times energy. Wow. So if I'm charging my phone once a day, maybe I can charge it every two days or three days? Three days, yes, for sure. that's right. Perfect. Uh, can you tell us anything else that is really innovative about this that maybe we didn't cover or we didn't talk well, about? Uh, you mentioned reincarnation of uh, FLC. Yes. So FLC before has been used, but they are not stable and has a lot of defects and so on. So people abandoned that technology. Okay. So our new mold is totally different from the previous kind of FLC. So it's more stable mechanically. Uh, you can touch it. And uh, also, you can touch the panel too. Yeah. All the previous FLC, you cannot do that. So when you touch it, actually, you'd see the image distortion, or what would you see for the previous Nothing. FLC? Oh. No, oh, not this turn, one. But it will turn this, totally black. It would turn totally black. Yeah. yeah. So if it was the previous generation, then if I touch the display, it would be, it would it would be, be black. Gone. It would be gone. And here, we don't see any defect. Exactly. So you've definitely solved that so problem. So it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's stable mechanically, and it's also capable of high contrast ratio, high image quality. So, so congratulations once again on uh, winning the iZone Prototype of the Year award, Thank you, and uh, best of luck for the future. Thank you. Thank you. So um, the, the way you do this display is going to save three times the power? Three times, at least. Three times, compared to, compared to what? Regular LCD. So, so because regular LCD has color filters, and this one doesn't have any color filter. Why is the color filter using so much power? Well, it so absorbs uh, two-thirds of the energy. To do, uh, to do what kind of work? Well, ordinary LCD has a white backlight and use the red, green, blue color filter. So it absorbs 
a lot of energy. So it's something in front of the backlight that's kind of like uh, yeah, the, the changing record. the light or... No, the, yeah, it has uh, RGB subpixels. And so, in this case, there's no subpixel. And it says uh, no color filter. Right. Because it's the backlight is a, is a color? Exactly. We use RGB backlight. So it's like uh, RGB LEDs? Or LEDs. Yes. Many, many of them. Uh, small the, ones. Small ones. Just a like few. The full resolution of the display in RGB LEDs. Exactly. Like million, maybe. No, 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 no. no? Only uh, 10 or so. Ah, only 10 or so? Yeah. For the backlights. But how can you make all these colors then? Well, the, the, the LCD itself has many, many million of pixels. And we use the uh, uniform backlight of RGB to uh, present the RGB sub sub uh, frames. And it says in-plane switching, that's the IPS, which is it it's better than TN. People say it's better exactly. than TN. Yeah, it, it behaves like IPS. It behaves like? IPS. But it's not the same? It's actually better than IPS in terms of uh, uh, color compensation. And then it says uh, analog grayscale. What, what do you mention that? Uh, it's capable of continuous grayscale by uh, modulating the pulse width, the driving pulse width. The, the driving what? The pulse width of the driving pulse. And uh, uh, right now you have some demos. How big are those screens right here? This is a three inch. Three inch? Screen. Yeah. So when are you going to make a 42 inch? It's possible. Or when are you going to make six inch for a smartphone? Uh, that's next step. Next step, like next step is means next month, next year? No, we still have to find a commercial uh, entity to uh, commercialize this. How do you make these prototypes? Uh, it's a collaboration between the university and AUO. So you use their we, nice labs? That's exactly. We design everything and they uh, fabricate the backplane for us. And um, what's the resolution right now on these? It's a 250 ppm. So, 250 ppi. So it's a uh, 360 by 640. Yes. Um, do you need completely new factories to make this happen? No, just regular LCD factory. Just need some tweaks. Yeah. Uh, some changes in uh, in the way that the liquid crystal was filled, maybe. So, because the biggest. Uh, our consumption on the smartphone is a display, right? Yeah. It's more than ARM CPU, exactly. more than the, yeah. more than the, uh, the LTE and everything. Exactly. The display. Yeah. But um, are you going to be able to have as good a display as anything else? Well, it looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, is it going to be as good as uh, as what's there now? In fact, it can compete with OLED because it is fast, like OLED, and has very high uh, color saturation, like OLED. But there's no uh, quantum dot. No. no need for quantum dot. So it's another thing. Yeah. No need. It will. Uh, will it help if you had quantum well, dot? Well, with quantum dot, we can we can get to 130 percent NTSC. And now you have 105. 105. All right. So 130 is better. So let's go 130, right? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> cool. It's just a matter of uh, putting the quantum dots on the backlight. But yeah. here you say Hong Kong University. So. Is it uh, students? Uh, what's the PhD or who's doing this? Yes. Students, and postdocs, uh, doing the actual work. All right, and hopefully, uh, like in 2019, there will be a phone with this or no? How fast can it go? I hope so. <laughs> Maybe take a little bit more time. Well, let's see. Let's see. All right.